Wanamaker organ is the pinnacle of organs. It's the largest playing musical instrument in the world. Just the sound of the organ was probably the biggest surprise to me. Like it just wraps around you. The sound goes everywhere and that's like really fantastic. When they hear the organ playing, they're walking through and they're stopped and just stunned because, you know, they're, they're shopping at a department store and yet here's this organ playing. This room is really the gathering place of Philadelphia. There's nothing like it in the city, and other cities don't have rooms like this. Back in 1911, when the store was open, this was the way of entertaining shoppers and guests. People who travel not just the city to come hear this instrument or the state or the country, but really from countries all over the world, and it really is the best of the best. There's nothing like it on the face of the earth. My name is Matthew Taft. I am the organ shop coordinator here at Macy Center City, Philadelphia. Coordinating the organ shop is a job that involves many hats. I get to work on the largest musical instrument in the world and also on all of the annual events that happen around this instrument. The main core of what is now the Wanamaker organ was built for the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. That was about 10,000 pipes and at the time was the largest instrument in the world. And Rodman Wanamaker convinced his father, John Wanamaker, to put it in his flagship store in Philadelphia for when it opened in 1911. The largest organ in the world at the time wasn't large enough for the space, so it was expanded throughout the late 20s. And there was an organ factory here in the Wanamaker building and they built more pipe organ and installed it and took over retail space to make it organ chambers. And this instrument grew and grew and grew and it really has a strong foothold in the history of music. We don't have the Wanamaker department store anymore, but we do still have the Wanamaker building and Macy's is a tenant in the building and an amazing steward of this instrument. My name is Dylan David Shaw. I am from South Philadelphia. I got into organ music when I was very young, three or four years old, and my grandfather used to bring me here every year to the Wanamaker Organ Day to hear Peter Richard Conti, the grand chord organist, play, and that's what inspired me to become an organist. It's really a, quite an honor and a privilege to be able to play here in this magnificent space and play this magnificent organ. This is basically your control center for the organ. No sound comes out of here. All of the sound comes from all the 28,750 pipes that are in the back. This instrument is so grand because it has the acoustical capability of creating the sound of two and almost three full symphony orchestras just at the control of your fingertips and your feet. these colored tabs on the side are your sounds, so like your flutes, your oboes, your English horns, your clarinets, French horns, cellos, violins, tubas, trumpets, it's all controlled here. We have one pipe for every possible note on a keyboard for that one set of pipes. So we've got a little leather valve that gets pulled out of the way for pressurized air to go up through one single pipe to make one note happen. It's usually hundreds or thousands of pipes at a time, so there's all of these things that need to happen simultaneously and instantly. We have tens of thousands of pipes that need upkeep for the mechanical parts that make them sound. So there's a team of volunteers and nonprofit employees as part of the Friends of the Wanamaker Organ, and this nonprofit is pivotal in the restoration and maintenance of this instrument. My name's Ray Biswanger. I'm the executive director of the Friends of the Wanamaker Organ. My organization is really a musical arts society that helps take care of this instrument. Not only do we present special concerts, but we have a team of restorers who help take care of this gigantic musical instrument and its many needs and uh, repair situations. Gradually, we worked into this wonderful relationship with Macy's, where we take this load of caring for the world's largest playing pipe organ 
off the shoulders of people who are trying to establish their retail careers. People are fascinated by it. The crowds seem to be double as large. People are over at our kiosk watching our visitor film. This room is really the gathering place of Philadelphia. There's nothing like it in the city. It's special and unique, and people recognize that right away. I heard about the organs doing research for my holiday, and I just wanted to listen to them, and yeah, I'm really glad I came. I was raised Catholic and went to the church often, and I really love the sound of the organ, and that's what I love about the music, and the music really, like, it makes me feel good and just gives me goosebumps. I'm a retired Navy chaplain, so heard a lot of organs over the years. They call it the king of instruments, and once again, it's easy to be convinced of that. It's really a place of magic where people can just walk in and discover this amazing music or come in for a tradition that they've had for generations. The thing about this organ with the visitors is we'll get letters from people who were here 20 years ago and they remember every last thing that happened, what was played, how the organ sounded. It's like the memory goes into some kind of hyper-oxygenated overdrive and it burns in a memory that people treasure their whole lives. Macy's is proud to use this twice a day, Monday through Saturday, for 12 concerts a week. They're about 30 to 45 minutes each and they're completely free. We also have other programming that happens after hours throughout the year, so you can have a private orchestra organ concert. John Wanamaker were here today, I hope he would say keep up the good work. And then he would say get back to work. Yeah.